The word flourish here, I'm gonna do that over my toilet. It's gonna say detox and take a shit. You'll know who the fuck's toilet that is. Give it up for pancakes. Full stack tonight. Full stack tonight. I'm half white, that's my half, that's my white half right there. He's sitting right there. He's dope. Anybody in AA like me here at the bar tonight? <laughs> I was. Anybody else? Yeah, that shit don't work. It don't work, right? AA don't work, NA. That shit don't work. Yeah, no. Not too many steps. 12 steps, one step. Quit. That's the only step that really matters. I know. The other thing is, they're just trying to get you addicted to other things. Cigarettes, coffee, cheap sex. Boom, boom, boom. They hit you right away. What the fuck? Oh. You know what? Any addicts here tonight? You drug addicts? My man. Hey, meet me after. Yeah, no, really, to be honest, though, let's get rid of that word addict. Let's replace it with the word connoisseur in our language. You know, don't tell me how crack fucked your family up. Tell me how to buy a good crack pipe in case this pandemic gets a little fucking worse. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, let's not, 20, hey, they're over there, we might be there one day. One day we might not be able to afford tallies here at the Florence, you know? We might have to go hang out with the fucking hobos. You know, best thing Obama did? Give the hobos phones. Yeah, yeah, every fucking where it's not home, you can see them handing out phones. I got two free hobo phones. <laughs> My name's Detox RWC. Find me on Instagram, picking on girls and boys. Just kidding, I don't do that. I relapsed recently. Anybody else ever relapsed? I relapsed. I slept with my ex girlfriend. Yeah. Boom. Suck, man. I've been trying so hard not to do that. Just trying to get that monkey off my back. You know, and I thought it was going to be cool. We're not going to date anymore. I thought it'd be okay. You'd be able to get over it. Now I feel bad for her. Because it went down on her and she tastes like rubbers. Yeah, she's got a chemical imbalance going on. She's sick. Yeah, no. No, I, I know what you're saying. She's not fucking anybody. She told me. <laughs> she tastes like rubbers. And I know it's true because when I went to Hawaii and came back, she tastes like rubbers at that time too. It's a flare up. It's coming back. I'm over here now. My name's Detox. I got a hormone sensitivity. Anybody else have that? A hormone sensitivity? Yeah. Anytime I hear one moan, I get sensitive and fall in love with her every time. <laughs> I start tipping her double time. <laughs> I get all, I get a heart for her. I love them. I like Mexican women because they don't get mad. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, you, you think I'm kidding? You see one that looks mad? Walk up to her, ask her if she's mad. Yeah, hundred percent of the time. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. You're mad. You're mad for thinking I'm mad. Maybe you're mad. Works for me though, because every time she thinks that shit's funny. I just think it's funny that you think you're a comedian. Wish there was a whole show full of my XO ladies. This whole place would think this shit is funny for once. Invite them out. <laughs> Thank you. This man has experience, guys. He may not have the longest dick in the room, but he's been there, okay? Speaking of Hitler, my penis has a, a Hitler mustache. Trying to bring that back. You guys ever had STDs? Raise your hand if you got an STD before. Thank you, just him, okay. Yeah, hey, whatever happened to crabs? Back over there at the back of the bar. What's that one called? What, what STD is that? Xavier? Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, whatever happened to crabs? Crab is some bullshit, right? Crabs, crustaceans crawling around your dick. You're in the Planned Parenthood. You're looking down. There's a family of crabs crawling around your dick. Is that real? Let's go rid it. This guy has the fine tooth comb. Okay, he knows. He knows. Fine tooth comb possession. You throw that thing away with the... I figured out what it was. It was Bush. Yeah, no, I'm not the president. Niles, damn it, no, the fucking, people used to have a bush, that was the natural habitat for the crabs, that's where they lived, they went extinct, and no one gave a fuck, they just fell off the face of the earth, not a single person cared. <laughs> Call that a Roman candle, this guy knows how to camp, anybody ever been camping with this guy with your dick on fire? Twice, hey, 2015 I did it twice, twice, oh man, it was a good time. Pandemic lessons, COVID lessons, what did you guys learn during the COVID? I learned how to shit and shower. Yeah, no more toilet paper problems, you gotta wash your feet well, it will leave a trail, and that corn might not be yours. Oh, 
Another lesson I learned is if you can smell their breath, it's too late. You got that shit. Whatever they have, it's a particle. It's on you. You got it. Also, I threw away that condom in my wallet. Threw that shit away. I replaced it with the Plan B pill. Yeah, shout out. Hashtag. I don't believe in the Borfies. No, I don't. Oh, man. I used to interview porn stars. You know? Anybody ever dated a swinger? No? I, I did. I'm not going to lie. It made me uncomfortable. I was nervous. I was really nervous. First time she swung on me, bam, gave me a black guy, went to work the next day, had to tell my boss I fell on a flight of stairs. Yeah, sitting on the toilet, taking a shit, texting my boys how we're going to get this brought out of my house. We did, we did, we did. My name is Detox. <laughs> what else I got on here? Before I let you go, that's the light. I'm going to let you guys go anyways. Give it up for your host, Jeff. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop.